Hello everyone, my name is Otavi Santana. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today let's talk about Reflection, one beautiful API where you're able to create your own frameworks, if you wish. A good sample of Reflection is to reduce a boilerplate in a conversion. For example, I have my proprietary file and I want to convert to from my Java object. Okay? Remember, the main goal of reflection is to explore the capability and put more flexibility on my code where I can read my metadata information on runtime. It has a cost. It will decrease the performance when you do that on runtime, especially because you need to read, uh, you need to take several information of the class, such as methods, fields, and so on, and even annotations. But you get more flexibility, especially on runtime. Let's start implementing this mapper, where I will create my proprietary file where I need to convert to from my Java entities. Remember, the idea is not to create a new Hibernate, a new Spring, a new Dracata, and so on. The main idea here is to explain to you be able, when it makes sense, to create your custom annotation. As I said, it's important to repeat, it has a performance cost not only the warm up, but the memory consume. As you can see here, I have my classic Java project where I run in with Java 17. I have my favorite Java stack as minimum uh, requirement, therefore, Tion Jupyter, uh, Mokito, and then Asset, Asset for J. Asset J. Okay, so my first step is to create my mapper interface. So I will create my mapper interface. I will not cover any proprietary conversion right now. Uh, let's imagine I'm talking about a map just to reduce that fuck the, the main goal that is explore the reflection capabilities on Java. So I have my string object. Where do I you come from to map uh, my object entity? Mm, let's use generics here. So I we have here. I have my t of entity type, and then I will do. The opposite. So I have my t and my t instance to entity, where I will return, or oh, where I will receive uh, a map as parameter. So my map here. As I said, remember to put documentation on it. I want cover, but you able to put the params, the types, and so on. You're able to put the trolls, exceptions, like it will throw an exception when the entity is new. I will don't cover the documentation here because of the time. Once we have the interface, let's create the annotation. Okay. My first step here is coming here is define my entity as annotation. And then I will create a column annotation. The idea is to mapping only the fields that has that annotation. So I will create my column annotation here, where this one will have the, the name of the column. This way I'm able to change the pro properties on the, my map to from my entity. Okay, 
what we need to do right now is define the rotation of the annotation and also the target of that annotation. So the column will have a target, the type field, and then the rotation will be through runtime. I will use the power of copy paste on my entity annotation. However, this time the element type will be a type. Don't worry, we're gonna test it. I will come here to my test uh, context and I will create my pet. My pet will have the name of the patch and then the age, okay? I will put that annotation. As you can see, I put the entity name here and then column where I need to put a value. What we usually do, we uh, can use the idea that if we don't overwrite, I will use the field name. So what I can do is come here and define the default value as empty. This way, once I do not define the field, it will use the field name on my implementation. The target, the target works like this. So if you try to call paste my column, it won't compile because the target is only to the field. The same thing will happen if you try to put my empty on my field. Okay? That's why we have target to define where the notation will go. And the retention is to define when I will read this annotation. On my point, on my case, I will run or I will use on my runtime. I will create that implementation. So I will create my implementation using reflection. Reflection mapper. This one will implement the mapper. Remember, there are more than one way to use annotation in Java. For example, you can use process annotation to read that on a build time. The main advantage of that is we don't need to read that information on runtime. Therefore, it will don't impact on performance. It won't increase the consume of memory, CPU, and so on. Because the whole metadata will happen on um, build time. But anyway, let's create this, this code. Let's start with my to map, where my first step is to, to verify if my NT is not new. And then I will create my map. So I have my map, map. I know it's not a good name. My hash map. My first step is to define my NT. I will create a custom value where I will inform the get class. This class has the information of my class. I will cover later. And then the name. So let's convert to a variable here. Extract variable. The type right now. And once we have this type here, the next step is to iterate the fields and then check the value. If the value is not new, we're gonna put in the map, okay? So I will take my type. As you can see, I have several methods. That is my metadata of my class. In this case, I will use declared fields where I will do my for for each here and check. 
I will do this set accessible just to don't validate, you don't do anything. Please read the documentation uh, to understand better. Uh, also, you don't have time. I won't go further on that. But the main idea is to come here, fields, do the get using my NT, and then it will return a value. Okay? It will get an exception. What you can do is extract the method get value. It will return an exception. I will do the my try cat here. So please do the try cat here. I won't cover a custom exception here, but might should be a better exception than that. Hopefully you understand me. And my next step is I will check if this field has the notation. So I come here, field, get annotation, and then use my column annotation. What I can do, I can check if it's not new and then send the value. If that's what I, I'm gonna do. So annotation, my column. My first step is I need to check if this value, oops, Let's use optional here, right? Let's use the power of Java higher than seven. So it will convert to optional. I will check if my, my column is present. If it's present, therefore I can use uh, this little guy here. So check column, I will map, I will map my value. I will filter, so I need to check if my string is not blank. So I will take the predicate, negate, and if it is blank, I can use the field cat name. Okay, right now I have my key. I will move my value to here because it only makes sense to check if my field has this column annotation. And then I will put my key and my value here from the annotation. What you can do right now is to create a test. However, I will finish the whole implementation. Uh, it's kind of a basic step, so, and then I will create the whole test. So I have my NT here. I just moved my static method below. So I hide, so it can be static. I will start doing that validation. So it's not new, map is required. So right now I make sure that I know what's going on. My first step is to return my entity. So I will come here, get entity, where I will return my get, right? So if you remember, map.get, and I need to convert this value to constant, destruct constant, key, entry and then I will check here right now I need to do uh, a little walk around let believe in the user but please don't do that do the whole validation here uh, my entity and then what you're gonna do I will um, do my my class oops my class for name right so i will load it from my name it might throw a lot of exception i will return my type based on this class i will have my constructor so i have several constructor here 
I will do the constructor. I'm using for just to you see uh, the interaction happen. However, if you wish, as uh, by factoring, you can use the string API and so on. The main point here is to show that constructor has several methods as well. I'm looking for the one that is the default, the for the one that has no parameter. What I can do, I can here constructor um, get parameter count equals zero. Of course, I need to check if this one is public as well, where I don't. Sorry for that. New instance, then return. And finally, I will put the try get here. So I come here with try get. I put everything here. Please put it on my try. What I can do is please don't do that in production. Put exception. Oops, let's see what's going on. Everything goes okay. I just need to catch and then throw a new exception. Runtime exception because it should have a constructor. As you can see, the idea is just to explore a uh, non optimized um, reflection. You can use Spring, Jakarta, Jakarta, JNOSQL to do it more optimized. However, the main point is to show the overview. Once I have my entity, my next step is to do the same interaction. So I come here, entity, get my class where I have my metadata uh, information here, and then take the type, get declared fields. As you can see, there are the methods, the constructor, the annotation, if I wish. So if I need to check, the annotation, that is the get annotation here. I will, don't talk about it right now. So I will do my for with my fields. And what I'm gonna do is basically something. I have my column here, but this time I will do directly the mapping process. I come here, copy paste. So right now it is the key. So once I have my key, I will check the map, right? So get key, my key, that will return my value and what I can do, use an optional again, of nullable. I can use my optional object. And if it's present, what I can do is value and then do the set value where I set my empty the field and then the value. Okay, I need to create, create this method, empty field and my, my value. I will set the values here. I will do that trick with accessible true. And then I will set the value. So I have my empty here and my value and of course I need to try try it with try get again right now I did the implementation of reflection 
where I do the conversion to from a map. And as next step, let's create a test. Let's create the mapper test where I will come here, create test. I will create this unit test. I will come here. I will create my oops, not you, my mapper, mapper. Uh, I will set up uh, my mapper using reflection mapper before each test and then let's start public void should convert to map I will create my path where as you can see here I have my annotations I forget to create my two constructor one empty only to use on my framework my framework and then one to be private to create my static method so from here I will hide and then create my getters it's almost immutable right mm, it could be but forget this time I want to implement the getter setter I will want to implement your two string and then I will create my public static path of a string name in age i know i should put validation here like no is value is required and so on they should not be negative but anyway i guess you got an idea so let's put a comment here validations but returning, I have my pet that is Ada, who call himself Ada of eight years old. And right now, let's return the map. So I have my Ada as a map. And what we can do is using the power of assessj, you can do the assets that that, uh, that map it's not new right is not empty as well uh, contain keys um, in this case uh, my entity the name and age where it should contains the entry uh, name Ada age 8 if finally my entity pet get pet class get name so this one should be our first test let's run and hopefully it will work okay our next step is create the last uh, test for today uh, public void should convert entity where it is a test I will create my test so string object map and then map of uh, entity pet class cat name name Ada and then age 
it is from Java 11 or higher. So if you are using Java 17, it's okay to use this static method. So map off something like list off and set off. So I right now I will use my mapper to empty my map and then I will return my pet here. So pet pet equals and again I will use the assert j assert that where I have my pets is not new my condition is it starts off pet of course as you can see assess j is super fluent my match so p where p is pet p name equals ada and match p p h equals eight okay let's run both tests and that is it right now we created the the mapper where i convert to from map object using annotation so i'm using column and using nt so the idea is to inspire you to know how does it work. I'm iterating using the class that is the, the metadata of the class itself, where I able to see the fields, the constructor, the methods, and so on. It's not fancy, it's simple. However, if you want to put that in production, please read more real case frameworks such as Spring, uh, Jakarta NoSQL, Eclipse NoSQL, another specification, Hibernate for example. It just you know how does it work internally. Okay, so if you want to go create your own solution, use that as inspiration and then move it as a next step. You're able to create cache to avoid a lot of uh, information here in the class as I mentioned to you uh, we have some calls uh, I'm using J9 but when I come here to not you but one second to my class I can put my get name okay 